Hi, you both recorded uh, dialogue for the, the TV show and the, the uh, movie in 86, the animated movie. Were there any perks or upgrades for anim uh, uh, recording for the movie rather than the TV show? And Mr. Berger, could you please repeat me Grimlock kick butt from the movie? Are there any perks from the movie that were, well, I mean. One of the perks from the movie is me Grimlock kick butt. <laughs> well, I was pretty much edited out of the movie, but uh, I did get to work with uh, <laughs> I did get to work with Mr. Spock, so that was very cool. It was wonderful to be in the booth, and we walked in right after Orson Welles had left. So there was a snifter and a bottle of Perrier right beside it, his <laughs> chair, and all these people from uh, from. Hasbro that were lying on the floor in Studio B looking up under the curtain to watch him record. So that was very interesting, but uh, you know, uh, I think probably the, the movie w was all the perk that it, it, it needed to be. I mean, you know, you're working with different people that broke up the shift and, and it broke up the, I, for me, it broke up the whole nature of the series. The it brought it into a different aspect. Of course, my part was very, very small. Uh, but the overall arc of the characters in the movie was wonderful. They say if you're going to take a, a property from the small screen to the big screen, that the story had better get big too. Everything about it had better get big enough for big screen. And I think they were successful at that. Perk-wise, uh, a million perks, but all personal, not financial. <laughs> uh, I was there. Uh, Wally was a stickler for having everyone in a scene present at this octopus mic. This doesn't exist anymore either, so that you could play off each other. You know, energy, whether you're saving the galaxy or just cleaning up the neighborhood, is contagious. Uh, and he wanted people talking to each other. Well, I was in there the day that Judd Nelson said, he said, I'm having a lot of trouble, guys. He said, I, I don't know how to do this thing where, where this is who I'm talking to. He said, you give me a pair of eyes and I know, I know where I am, I know what I'm doing. He said, but I don't, know how to, I don't know how to act from here to here. So we took turns just going to the other side of the microphone, and whoever wasn't talking and standing there. And Judd, it was like he went from here to here oh, instantly. So, uh, I mean, I watched that happen as long as he could do what he does, which is on camera acting and which is involves another pair of eyes. He had to talk to someone. It was that simple. And we all solved this problem. And I saw him at the last BotCon, and he still remembered that. And, and uh, so, I mean, you, you say the word perks. This entire career is nothing but a perk. There's disappointments, there's rejections, there's hard times, you know. We're doing what we always wanted to do. We're doing what you want to do. That, that's, that, that's a gift, but it involves sacrifice as well. Risk. Huge risk. Huge risk. I'd be surprised how many people want to do this but don't want to take a risk. You know, I mean, I had to move to Los Angeles. I had had cancer, and it, it was like I had to wait until the doctors told me I could move to Los Angeles. So I moved to Los Angeles. That was the third time I moved there. The first two times, they chewed me up and spit me out. But every time you learn what you didn't know before. And you take what you learn, and you utilize it, and you formulate a plan, and you stick to it, you might succeed. You might not. But if you do, and you, whatever level you get to, whether you're Orson Welles or you're Hal Rail, I'm the happiest guy on this planet. I get to live my life. I can pay my bills, and I'm here at a Transformers convention. They invi you invited me to be here. I got to leave my home, come here, and speak with all of you, and I don't think it gets any God's darn luckier than that on this planet. And that's, that's, that's the perk. This, these are the perks. Yeah, and these are the perks right here. Yeah. These are the perks. Thank you. But because, because there's so much turnover in who we work for, what, what we, we're, we're exposed to an immense number of opportunities, uh, but, but it's like starting a different job every time you're introduced to a new person or you work for a different person. Um, it, it, uh, 
I don't, I don't know if that's the same as going to a factory every day and drilling the same piece in the same car over and over again. But w we never stop learning because the, the, the nature of the work is so diverse. Even if the work is not working, you have to figure that out too. You have to figure out how to be a snail, uh, a snail, a squirrel when you want to be a squirrel. My favorite snail joke. A guy hears the doorbell ring, goes to the door, looks left, right, sees nothing, looks up, nothing, looks down, sees a snail on the doormat, picks it up, throws it as far as he can. Six months later, he hears the do doorbell ring, goes to the door, looks left, right, up, down, looks, and he sees the squirrel, uh, the, the snail on the doormat. Snail looks up and says, what the hell was that all about? Look at that escargot. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.